Oh, I'm on. Okay. Well, hello. Since you guys are here, I figured I just might as well tell you about this. Uh, these, these important settings for, for your OBS to make sure you're good and good and ready, ready, ready to hit the stream. Now, I know you're thinking, why am I making a video over uh, how to set up OBS when there are 20 other ones by big YouTubers, big, big streamers out there who've already done this? Well, that is because I'm small. I'm just like you guys. I, I am, I'm here for you when you need help because I'm able, I, I, I will see a notification on YouTube and guess what? I will respond to it because I will, I, I don't have 10,000 people responding or asking me questions. I'm, I'm here just so I can help you guys out. And that's, I'm here to grow with you and I'm here to help you along my way, along my journey, along with your journey. And that's the best part of being small is that I can help you guys while I grow myself. And there's some key points me trying to hit across here. And that's, and that's you know, just, just to get you the first footsteps into messing with OBS. OBS, OBS is a very big, complex software to use. I'd say it's complex, not about that complex, but it, it being a new software to you if you're just starting out streaming it's it's a challenge to learn all the little neat little tricks they have to offer um so really just the main thing we're starting out with is adding a scene adding your audio display your game sources stuff like that your camera um that and and little tweaks and settings there to make it to where it's a good quality stream now all this obviously depends on the hardware you're using um the, the internet connection and things along those lines, um, each of those always plays an aspect on how your stream performs and how it looks overall. And if you guys have any additional comments regarding the video, your hardware aspects, um, what, what, what specs you should be using, settings you should be using for your type of hardware, uh, feel free to leave a comment on the video. Uh, find me at twitch.tv slash Groucho or go to my Discord and, and I'll shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. And this is to give you guys kind of a baseline on what type of hardware I'm using for my computer. I use a 2070 Super with 24 gigs of RAM and a i7 9700F for, uh, for my computer build. So, for your first step, if OBS isn't asking for it, and that is to make your first scene. What a scene is, that is basically what you're going to be streaming. Um, for instance, in the past, I've done an Among Us one, I've done a, a uh, Call of Duty one, a D&D one, I have my D&D actually, but... Uh, we've got a Fall Guys, a Phasophobia, Wrath, and a Squad. Uh, but for this part, we're just gonna do a new one as a generic one. Um, and you're just gonna name it whatever you wanna name it as. So once you've added your first scene, this is where you'll add uh, your sources. Uh, which that will be either a display, an audio, a, a camera, a browser source, and you'll do all that here under the sources page here. Um, your first step is you're gonna wanna probably add just your um, your display, that's the first one, just to give yourself an image. Um, there's two options. Um, first is going to be your display. That will be exactly what you're seeing now. That's how mine is set up currently. Um, it'll see all your Windows icons, um, your taskbar stuff. Um, the other option is your game capture. Game capture will do any full screen application that's being the game by OBS. Uh, keep in mind new applications such as um, like new, new games. Um, OBS doesn't recognize them as games just yet and sometimes it won't work. Um, and some and ways to fix that if you haven't set up that way is to capture any full screen application or choose a specific window, which you can then choose your left or right one. But if you're not gonna do the game capture and do it the way I do it, um, just go over here to add your source, go to display, click OK. It'll add it as it sees. Let's say right now it looks as if it's just a um, endless loop of what you're seeing. But once you add a game up there, it will not look like that. The next thing you can do is play around with this um, and see how you want to display your display. Um, so one thing you can do is add an image, uh, make that your background, and then put your display on top of it. So if you just choose a random image there, open it up, okay, and then, so the order of this right here, that will be how it, it's shown. If you put, if you slide over your display capture on top, and then you can adjust the size there, you can then have it like that. Um, that's a way to do like with your camera and your game and stuff as well. You want to make sure your what you want to be on the background is the very last thing on the list. So once you have your display and your stream how you want it to, to visually look here, um, which you obviously like I said you can adjust with these uh, arrows and stuff like that. Um, you want to add your other sources being your audio and a video capture device. Uh, so just down here at the bottom left, uh, you'll go to start with the input capture. That'll be the microphone that I have here. That'll be what you're talking into. Um, that will be so your viewers can hear what you are saying. Um, if you do that, for me, it is just my, I only have one input device. If you have a speaker, um, a headset, or something like, like more than one, it'll be, it won't default to your only device. 
um, to then make sure you're doing the correct one. Um, so for me, if we're doing a new scene, it's adding a new device. Um, for me, it can be default, or I'll choose it to be the one I have available just so it doesn't mess up anytime, anytime in the future. Um, that will probably add two instances of my voice. Um, for right now, so I'm doing a video and making this. But I'll mute that. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is add an output. Output will be what you are hearing um, or what your desktop is hearing. Um, so that will be under the plus sign and then output. Um, keep in mind though, just because you're doing output, some, you have to mess with some settings to do this. Um, what you hear is also sometimes what your viewers can hear and sometimes people say bad things and just make sure you're adjusting your stream as accordingly for that. Um, but if you go to your output capture, um, this will give you, for me, it's a couple devices. And this is where the audio gets kind of uh, difficult because um, the way I have it set up on my personal one is for my uh, Be Right Back screen, my starting screen, my ending stream uh, scenes, um, I have my speakers set up so they play music. Um, that way, when my, if I'm going to be right back, though, my viewers can have to listen to while they're waiting for me. Um, but for this instance, we're just going to use our headphones. Keep in mind, this is what um, I am hearing. So you want that to be set up with your headset. Another rule when it comes to audio is to figure out um, how to figure your game volume and your input volume to make sure that you're, you can be heard over your game and your game's not too loud. Uh, the rule of thumb is the minus six decibels is half of what you currently should be set at. So if you're at zero and you go negative six, that is, that is half the volume at what you are currently talking at that makes sense um, just to keep that in mind um, when you're adjusting volume uh, once you have your audio figured out the next big part is to add your video device if you have one I'll say you, as a streamer it helps to have a have a camera on on you yes it's awkward but it helps with adding a personal touch to each stream if you're just a display of someone playing a game, that's kind of boring. If I think you have a face to see to someone you're talking to, that adds a little, you know, personal touch to it that makes it nice. So how to do that in OBS, little bottle button here, little plus, go to your video capture device. Um, if you have one, click existing. If not, click add new. Um, for me, it's labeled as Logitech HD webcam. You'll click OK. Mine won't show up just right now because I'm already using it, but it will be the same type of little box this is. Um, you would just adjust it wherever you want in the, in the scene, um, and then that way that will be your face right there. Uh, which is hard to do right now because I'm using OBS to make a video of OBS, so it's a little bit of a challenge right now. There, once you've done that, you've made your personal OBS working stream, you'll still have to add your source code, whatever device, whatever platform you're using, um, which that will be in your settings, and I'll show you that. In your settings, in your output, or excuse me, center stream, You'll have to edit this here. I'm not going to show that because it'll show my personal one. I'm not going to do that. But you'll go to here, your missile settings, your output. Um, depending on what card you use, if you're using a new 20 series card, typically you want to do NVENC uh, X or H264 new. Uh, X24 is for older cards. Um, and if you're using the other one, that's just for processor. That's really if you have a whole separate computer. I'll say if you're in that aspect of it, you're probably not even going to watch this video because you know what you're doing. But if you're just doing a one device stream, you'll want to use NVENC new. If you're at least on a 20 series card, um, more newer, I'll say even 16 series cards can probably do new as well. Um, under recordings, everything, this is going to make sure your format is MP4, MP3, um, for example, will not work on DaVinci. Um, or videos like that, you have to make it to where it's an MP4, that way it works on a lot of uh, video editing softwares. Um, another one is your audio, um, tedious with because there's so many different settings you can mess with. Um, and then next is your video. I will say as a general rule, I usually don't have it at 1080p, but I'm only doing it because I'm recording. Um, I usually have it at 720. A 720 at 60 frames is better than a 1080 at 30 frames. That is because you're able to output a lot better 720 display at 30 frames. Your internet can handle, or 60 frames, because your internet can handle a lot more. Um, than 1080. The amount of bits you're sending up into the, the cloud in a sense to stream is, I think it's a million, a million amount more or something like that. It, it's a crazy amount. So if you if you're having issues with lag in your stream, um, make it to where you're only doing 720 at 60 frames. That will be a better quality stream 
and there'll be a lot less delay in your stream as well. Next is to look at your, your general process priority. You want to put it as high. That will tell your computer you want to stream over your game. Um, if your computer has that debate, um, usually your computer will be able to handle it as fine. Uh, that way your computer knows, oh hey, OBS is running, let's put the priority of making a good stream over a game. It shouldn't have too much impact on your game. Maybe at most a couple frames, which should be nothing. Um, this here, this is where you'll mess with if you have a colorblind uh, mode and stuff like that on there. Um, but other than that, that should be really the only settings you mess with, minus some occasional output um, or video quality displays. Thank you guys again for watching. I really hope this helps out any other small streamer out there. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video. Uh, find me on my Discord or send me a message on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash show. Other than that, guys, happy streaming. I just pushed off the edge. I just pushed off the edge of the map. <laughs> Let's go. What a play. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, that was.